Hello everyone! Today I'll be showing you how to paint a beautiful giraffe that looks intricate and advanced but is surprisingly easy to make. Let me show you how. By the way, you can find this piece for sale now on my website, abcreativeofficial.com. What is my plan today? I've recently painted quite a few flowers and different plants and yes, I am mostly inspired by nature as most of you know by now. So I think today I really feel like painting an animal. I wanted to do this animal for quite some time. I did have some requests and I wrote it down. I thought let's use again the long canvas and which animal would be best for long canvas? What do you think? Time for a giraffe. So I've been looking online at various pictures of giraffe mummy and a baby and they are so cute so that's my inspiration and this is the canvas 50 by 20 and i am going to use glue gun as well but the first thing i want to do a quick sketch of the mummy and the baby so, as you can see i've been sketching um the giraffes with one of my soft pencils this is 2b I was looking for 4B but I couldn't find it, so 4B is good as well. Why am I going in here? Because it's very easy for me to transfer from this type of paper to my canvas. It's a baking paper. You can also use it as tracing paper. You can trace an image from online sources. Just look for royalty free, of course. So I am going over my quick sketch. So, darken the lines. They've got really sort of bumpy, bumpy foreheads, don't they? In the end, I added open eye because I think it'll look really nice, the eyelashes. Okay, so when I flip over, they will be facing the other direction, but I don't mind at all. Oh, I see, I made, I think I made both ears a bit too big. Uh, I thought, let me change it quickly. Okay, I've decided that's it. Now I can't move. Uh, sound off because I know some of you won't stand it. That's my super quick transfer. Of course, you can use anything else. You can also go over the lines with a pencil. That will transfer it really nicely. It's only for me to see where the glue gun will go. I'm ready for the glue gun now. This is the small one I have and I sometimes use it. I do have many questions that what kind of glue gun it is. I don't know. It was a very cheap one and to be honest it's temperamental. I'm still looking for a perfect glue gun so if I find one I'll let you know. Just start over there. I'll, I'll keep turning it because then it's more comfortable for me to guide the glue gun, you know. I'm trying to be super careful on those parts because I do want a really nice face. I'm really thinking should I outline the eyes or not with the glue gun maybe I'll try if it doesn't go well I'll just take it off moment of truth oh <laughs> so far okay let me just join this section because it's still wet and let's do the bigger one. The bigger one should be easier. I'm not doing any eyelashes here. I'll leave it like this. Okay, I did it. So now, shall we do the nose as well? Oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. At the moment, I've got two ideas how to make the patterns on our giraffe. The first one is just using some pouring and making huge cells, which I'll attempt first. If it fails, I've got a backup plan that I will tell you later. Well, let's see if my first one fails. So before I pour my paint here, I was looking for the brown on the giraffe. And I think I've got the closest, the burnt sienna. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a very quick background colour. You'll find out why later and then pour on top of that. Just a thin layer. 
and if it's not perfect it doesn't matter as well at the moment I also got some orange and white just in case it looks too uniform so oh that's way too much that's way too much The only areas I'm not going to get into is the the eye and the inside of the nose. Even if it's multicolored, it's 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 fine. Well, if you're wondering, yes, we could just use paint. Every single piece I make, I try to make it accessible to everyone. That's why I don't paint with brushes, or hardly ever in this channel. I want my tutorials to be easy to follow and enjoyable to everyone. Okay, so I'll continue and I'll cover both the mom and the baby the same way. I'm, actually, I'm so grateful that you're here with me and you kind of follow my experiments because I never know what will happen next. I haven't tried it before. Trying it here with you. Oh, very quickly, this one. As you can see, this is all super easy. That shouldn't cause any problems. This colour may not even be seen, we'll, we'll see how my pore works, but I've got it, as I said, I've got it in my head. I don't want white underneath, because once I pour it here and then I use some silicone, I don't want the white background to be uncovered. That's the only reason here at the moment. So this section is going to be my testing grounds. Even if I mess it up, I can just clean it easily. I'm going to cover this with my pouring acrylics. This is burnt sienna, this is burnt amber, and this is my cadmium orange. I added a bit of white to this burnt sienna to make it a bit lighter, the same way I did with this background color. And we've got one part of paint to one part of my pouring medium. And my pouring medium is half water, half PVA glue, and one part of blood draw. And if it doesn't run like this, I just spray in some water. So I am going to spread some of this colour here quite thinly. It's nice having borders, it won't go anywhere further. This, however, what do we have in here? Titanium White Champagne by My Artscape. And I think I added a tiny bit of burnt sienna as well. So paper towels ready. I sprayed it with water, just clean water, and this is my silicone. Actually, it's dimeticon. This is coconut hair serum, not coconut oil, not the cooking oil. And I am putting a drop in here. You'll see in a minute why. If it works, if it works, oh my goodness. Uh, maybe I'll start it from this corner, it might be easier. Okay, it's spreading now. Nice and thin. I dip this in. And now some silicone. Now you can see the dots are so big that we can actually get the underneath colour. That's why I painted the background. Getting somewhere. They spread more. There's some hope. Does it look like giraffe skin? Kind of. I think I'm going to leave them where they are still growing and see how they dry. So that was my testing. I was expecting it to look better. I would definitely like bigger cells, but I don't think I can manage anything bigger with the silicone drops. The longer I look at this one, and it's dry in the, the few hours, three hours. I do like the pattern, however, I think I would actually like them to be swapped with gold, just to make some fancy gold giraffes. Why not? It's art after all, it's not a photograph. So I've got some leftover gold here, and I might swipe with this. So let me just cover the baby now. I might even add a bit of this light colour, especially to the face area. Why not?
turn some of the dark one. And it's done. I just left those little handlers uncovered because I think they have to be really dark. So, okay, so let's try and swipe with gold now. Let me just cut really small bits so I can maneuver in those tiny areas. A bit of gold here, you know. Okay, I think I'm happy with the face. Where's my silicone? I really don't want many cells on the face. I want just like small cells. Anything popping through? Well, I can see a bit. And definitely nothing on the ear. Okay, let's just leave it like this. I think something more will happen. But I'm quite happy with hardly anything here. They are kind of visible, but they're very gentle. Okay, so now I'm going to swipe this part. A little bit of this. I don't know where those cells are coming from. I wonder, must have had something contaminated, you know. Okay, silicone time. It's going to be huge. Never use so much silicone ever, ever. I think I'm pretty happy with the baby and the colors. So let's just do the mother this way. I'm upside down. She looks a bit like a dragon, doesn't she? So that's the colour I wanted to swipe with before before I like, decided to do it with the gold. Where did the cells come from? Okay, so since the cells are appearing anyway like crazy. Did anybody notice me putting silicone in anything before? No. I think that looks pretty cool. Let me figure out how to do this one now without messing that lovely part. I like it different. The forehead, I think it gives us some nice section here. Now, just the neck. I might dip the tissue in the gold paint because I don't want it as light as the mouth. Uh, better work, come on. Well, remember, <laughs> this is an artistic vision of a giraffe. It's not perfect giraffe. Okay, so, so far, that's that. I forgot I was going to fill the little antlers with just a dark paint. No cells here. I think it's time to do the eye, and to be honest, those sections should be black, I think. So I've got a little bit of black paint, because that's where the eyelashes will come. Giraffes have beautiful eyes, huge. I don't think there'll be much of the white scene. And while I'm doing it, I'm thinking what color to do the background. It has to be something cheerful and African. Now a bit of brown. So I'm really not leaving much of the white. Never painted a giraffe before. I did make a tiny 3D giraffe, which I'll show you just for fun.
looks so much better with white, but I will add it later. I'll have to wait for it to dry before I apply white on top. Also, part of the nostril should be much darker, maybe not completely black, but it should be dark. I think I've decided on yellow background and I found these paints. I haven't used the yellow, this yellow before. It's by my Artscape. That's a really high quality, well pigmented paint. I think this one is kind of more African sun color. Let's just try. And I might tint it with white. Oh wow, that's a rich color. Uh, see if I like it. Oh, this is really yellow. Very, very yellow. Bit more. Let's see. Half and half. Uh, yes, it looks purple, but don't worry, it's already dry, and you know I love reusing stuff. Also, when you tint colors with white, titanium white is, is really dense. As you can see, it's opaque. So if you're adding a bit of white, you don't have to worry about the coverage so much. Oh, I do like this yellow. What do you think? Is it too vibrant? Let's add another color. I'll add a bit of this champagne. I might regret it, but you never know. So it's a bit like a peach color. That should take the kind of sharpness from yellow. Oh yes, oh, I think that's what I want. All yellow, but not so shocking, you know. <laughs> even even I didn't really blend them well. I'm just still testing the grounds, but I like it. I do like it. I thought since the giraffes are poured, we can as well just use a brush and do it really quickly. By accident, I did something I always tell my students not to do. <laughs> Don't put deep in the paint. Just keep it on the bristles, you know. So this will take me a couple of minutes. You may want to listen to some music, have a cup of tea, and then I will have finished. While I've been happily painting this, I've been thinking about something because so often I just so, so wish that you lovely people could advise me on, for example, the background colour or the choices I have to make. You are the ones who watch it later and it would be awesome if you could take part in it. I've been thinking and thinking and I've been also asked by many of you how to support the channel. I'm considering doing Patreon and I'm thinking, what if I was actually sharing in between stages and and asking you for your opinion and you could reply to me before the video is finished wouldn't that be awesome I would, I would love it if you could participate in the process and also often i'm just stuck for ideas It'd be so great if i could hear more from you I'm, I'm just thinking i wonder what you think well this is going to be probably one of the most cheerful paintings i've done very happy vibes about this. Well, that's how I feel. And it's not finished. Do you know what I'm going to do next once I do the background? I've decided to add a couple of shadows to the eye. Because it was just all filled with black. Now the most important thing is the white. And I am going to add just a little stripe of white here. These are all my pouring paints. It's easier. If you want to, your paint to glide, to use pouring acrylics. Now I'm imagining there's some light source here. Okay, I think I might leave the eyes like I'm actually happy with the eyes. And tomorrow, the final part. Resin. So this is the resin I use. It's Mastercast by Elichem. And it gives you a really nice dome. It says one to one. That means you are using one part of resin to one part of hardener. So mixing it really well, uh, three to four minutes, make sure you're combining the two elements really well. Also, I tape the edges so the resin doesn't drip off. Now I'm covering the bigger areas with a big spatula. And the little one, just make sure the resin touches the edges so this little stick is much better. All the details and then the edges. And time for the baby now. The gold is going to really pop with the resin, it's going to look awesome. Oh, the best part the eye is going to come alive now.
coating the bubbles now. You see how they disappear? I actually love this animal series with glue gun and resin. I think it really makes my creatures pop. Remember to check out my website abcreativeofficial.com where you can find this piece on sale. I would love to hear your ideas for what animals I should do next. Let me know in the comments. Consider subscribing if you haven't because we have a new video premiering every Saturday. And I'll see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.